အရင်တခါတပတ်ကဆိုလာစစ်စတမ်မကြောင်းကိုကိုပါကိုဖတ်တီးလို့ပြောတယ်အဲ့တော့ကိုပါကိုလည်းဖတ်တဲ့လည်
အဲ့ဒါမီချာရိုက်ဆိုတော့ဒါမှာဖတ်ကြည့်လို့ရတယ်တခုနဲ့တခုပါတွေများကွာလဲပါเนาะအဲ့ဒါမှာသူ့ပ
ဒါမှာမီးတန်းနေပါတယ်ထွက်လဲဆိုတော့အဆိုလာဝင်းပေါ့เนาะဆိုလာဝင်းနေရတဲ့ပရက်ရိုရိုက်စ်လုပ်တ
ဒီဆိုတာစစ်တမ်းပေါ့နော်ဟိုအပြင်ပလာပါအာပတ်ပြီးတော့ဝိုက်ထားတဲ့ကလောက်လို့ပုံစံမျိုးသူကလည်းအ
About 30 meteor showers can be seen from Earth throughout the course of a year. And because the showers are timed with Earth's orbit, the celestial phenomena are cyclical and occur at regular intervals. For example, the Perseid meteor shower happens every August and the Geminid meteor shower happens every December. Meteor showers have inspired awe and admiration for millennia. In Christian tradition, the Perseid meteor showers symbolize the tears of a saint, St. Lawrence, who was executed in August of the year 258. And in the first century AD, the astronomer Ptolemy believed that shooting stars were a sign of the gods looking upon mortals and listening to their wishes. Inspiring everything from making wishes to reveling at the sky, meteor showers are a reminder of our place in a dynamic and beautiful cosmic ecosystem. They are nestled in the final frontier, countless worlds, scattered throughout countless galaxies, challenge the notion that we are alone in the universe. Exoplanets are worlds that exist outside of our solar system. Also known as extrasolar planets, these bodies often orbit their own stars with some being a part of entire planetary systems. Exoplanets are made of the same elements as the worlds in our solar system, and based on their composition and structures are just as diverse. Some, known as giant or Neptune-like planets, are large gaseous worlds. Other gas giants, called hot Jupiters, closely orbit their stars, causing the planets to have high surface temperatures. Another category of exoplanets consists of super-Earths. Smaller than the gas giants, but larger than Earth, super-Earths are terrestrial and made primarily of rocky or icy material. The final category includes Earth analogs. Much as their name implies, Earth analogs are similar to Earth in various ways, including size, composition, and distance to their home star. Exoplanets are difficult to detect directly, mostly because they are outshined by the stars they orbit. To circumvent this, about five primary methods have been developed to find these planetary bodies, including radial velocity, in which a planet causes a star to wobble, direct imaging, where the glare of stars is blocked in order to see objects nearby, astrometry, which observes a star's movements in relation to nearby stars. Gravitational microlensing, which observes the light of a star being bent by a planet's gravitational pull. And the most prolific form of finding exoplanets, transit, the method in which a planet passes between its star and Earth, thereby dimming its star's light. Scientists have suspected the existence of worlds outside of our solar system for thousands of years, but the first confirmed existence of an exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star only occurred in 1995. Ever since, about 4,000 exoplanets have been confirmed by multiple discovery methods, with about 3,000 more awaiting verification. According to one theory, at least one exoplanet orbits each star in the Milky Way. This would place the exoplanet count in our local galaxy to about one trillion. The search for exoplanets continues, not just to create a catalog of known worlds, but also to see if life may exist elsewhere in the universe. Astrobiologists closely study the size, composition, and location of exoplanets relative to their stars to see the likelihood of organisms thriving in an environment other than Earth. Who knows what discoveries these new worlds could bring? Okay, 
အဒီအထိရဟိုအောင်ပေါ့เนาะအာအကုဂုတ်ပြောလိုက်တဲ့အိတ်ဆိုဖလန်းနက်စ်နဲ့ကုနာကကုနာပါပါလေခေါ်မ
ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็
problem solution the map by the parallax is a displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object object ko we apparent position ya difference between ya view allow two different lines of sight ara o prathama o uso mit polomyo de bo pa lo am le so de ko ko she ma nya si she ma bo no nya si she ma na na she ma လန်ညိုးတခြားထောင်ကြည့်လိုက်လန်ညိုးတခြားထောင်ဘယ်လိုရှင်ကိုယ်အရှေ့မှာရှိရဲ့အော့ဘ်ဂျက်တစ်ခ
I ma one a u a ma base ka shi ye o ti ja le ya taun le ya da kuna pyo lai de one second na phit daw me so lu shin a ri ha one ba so lu de one second ba ja a le so one second ga kuna pyo lai ma ma mi ya bo no sa ya ma so lu shin a ya n te de so me so a ya n we kwa le ni ya le ya lai ya ro a ya n ha daw le u ma phit one a u la ha daw le bo de ma so lu shin Uh, approximately, the value call the solution 3.26 like yellow, like yellow, the call is yellow. Allow we do our pivot one second. Ah, so the ma mi ai ha do our pivot. Yan ji lai lu xin. Okay. Ah, tiu sa gu. Ah, na mo lai lu solution le. Ya na na ibre la le bo no. Na ibre ga jia ro hua le jiao ma shuo. Ah. นั่นจะเจ้าหน้าที่ของอ่ะ ও নাইনের কাছে আমার পিপে দি দি পিরুয়ে সামার পিপে বল না পিয়ামে হারে গা মিয়াদো পিন দি সে আখানে মিয়ারে দি নাও গা আখানে যা জাস্ট ফর নলেজ পে পি দা বল না ওমা পিন কি দি হুয়া বল বল ইউনিভার্স চাওয়া আর সে হারে উদা তালে আলো গা কোয়ান্টাম নো না বলো সে ইলেকট্রনিক্স আপচাওনি না দি ইউনিভার্স চাওয়া � เออโอเคเออนาวเอ่อลาวเชนเดียร์เลวแท็บเลอร์ดอบยามะอ่าอะกูเอ่อวอลเลลงไล่อ่ะมาอย่าไปชี้เลยอะแดนเนสเซ่
ဒီကြာလို့ရှင်အာဘာကြောင့်လဲဆိုတော့နေရာတော့ပြတ်တော့ပြတ်တာပဲဒါပေမဲ့ကိုကနည်းနည်းလေးကြိုးပြောပြင
We can ignore the beginning part for now. First of all, the Big Bang was not an explosion. It was all space, stretching everywhere, all at once. The universe started very, very, very small and quickly expanded to the size of a football. The universe didn't expand into anything. Space was just expanding into itself. The universe cannot expand into anything because the universe has no borders. There is, by definition, no outside the universe. The universe is all there is. In this hot, dense environment, energy manifested itself in particles that existed only for the tiniest glimpses of time. From gluons, pairs of quarks were created, which destroyed one another, perhaps after giving off more gluons. These found other short-lived quarks to interact with, forming new quark pairs and gluons again. Matter and energy were not just theoretically equivalent, it was so hot, they were practically the same stuff. Somewhere around this time, matter won over antimatter. Today, we're left with almost all matter and nearly no antimatter at all. Somehow, one billion and one matter particles were formed for every one billion particles of antimatter. Instead of one massive ultimate force in the universe, there were now several refined versions of it acting under different rules. By now, the universe has stretched to a billion kilometers in diameter, which leads to a decrease in temperature. The cycle of quarks being born and converted back to energy suddenly stops. From now on, we work with what we have. Quarks begin forming new particles, hadrons, like protons and neutrons. There are many, many combinations of quarks that can form all sorts of hadrons, but only very few are reasonably stable for any length of time. Please take a moment to appreciate that by now, only one second has passed since the beginning of everything. The universe, which has grown to 100 billion kilometers, is now cold enough to allow most of the neutrons to decay into protons and form the first atom, hydrogen. Imagine the universe at this point as an extremely hot soup, 10 billion degrees Celsius, filled with countless particles and energy. Over the next few minutes, things cooled and settled down very fast. Atoms formed out of hadrons and electrons, making for a stable and electrically neutral environment. Some call this period the Dark Age, because there were no stars and the hydrogen gas didn't allow visible light to move around. But what's the meaning of visible light anyway, when there's nothing alive yet that could have eyes? When the hydrogen gas clumped together after millions of years and gravity put it under great pressure, stars and galaxies began to form. Their radiation dissolved the stable hydrogen gas into a plasma that still permeates the universe today and allows visible light to pass. Finally, there was light. Okay, but what about the part we didn't talk about? What happened right at the beginning? This part can be defined as the Big Bang. We don't know at all what happened here. At this point, our tools break down. Natural laws stop making sense. Time itself becomes wibbly-wobbly. To understand what happened here, we need a theory that unifies Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics, something countless scientists are working on right now. But this leaves us with lots of unanswered questions. Were there universes before our own? Is this the first and only universe? What started the Big Bang, or did it just occur naturally based on laws we don't understand yet? We don't know, and maybe we never will. But what we do know is that the universe as we know it started here and gave birth to particles, galaxies, stars, the Earth, and you. Since we ourselves are made of dead stars, we are not separate from the universe. We are part of it. You could even say that we are the universe's way of experiencing itself. So let's keep on experiencing it until there are no more questions to ask. Okay. Hello. Hello, Yusaka. Evolution. Evolution of the universe. For now, I just want to draw a mention of the evolution. I think I draw evolution. Big Bang, mana? No? Big Bang ni belum sahle. Big Bang udah di time pilih lah, lah. Tama evolution le. Big Bang ada sah. Universe tu ko di, eh, cakap dia belajar tu ada. 
now the pan be a sala so we all in a theory to which are share about your big bang or luck and time not good laws and evolution and if you bang us as a vision of it to subatomic to my very particular for a blue chain symbol a damn look for a hydrogen or honey for a no and now by the mark we will in a can you kill you how the attempt down that one of your universe got to be our expansion in it expansion is right now namely one of my own expansion resolution could not have your time in the big bang effect they are generated in each you know the bank are we all to manage to connect with other area gravity she being made it then we all must view a dose and in a puppet on this road temperature each other or not or your resolution energy got law of conservation of energy as universe to come constantly but I'm not wrong tower of university resolution to the matter of uh energy x energy to push him over not a energy to push you at the energy at the previous universe got g evolution energy i'm a pal x energy ratio i'm a balance or do you oh temperature is a lot but not only as in the machine i'm energy yeah piano or java at it to all that at matu who a channel at a j type on by by she is at the universe to cool machine how do you my GPC is a hot GPC as a giga bus cycle car not giga as a giga got tempo wall tempo nine no giga tempo nine giga light here no gr gna light years or giga tempo nine she a lot gd visible universe for not i'm a visible machine you know visible my whole damn body okay i don't i'll be the love she may be now the change of who are April last and I'm gonna if you're putting any that may any be under the ocean for the song to be made you can only you can song to be a long people are the idea to any leave a mother of all we are exercise a little bit now oh people in that they are there who show up a full year man you are starting to have a solution revision leave a few people and happy about so Alau revision dia mungkin dah ada, no? Saya revision, nampak jadu sih, nampak tu lu pernah yau sih sih, eh, dapat mah, tanah ini lau tu aje baby lau lebih macam, no? Okey, sih ya, cipta hari pagi, no? Eh, tiada apa sih, tiada apa, no? Alam itu, saya media sih, no? Lau baby lau sih dah ada, eh, eh, terus mian baby lau tu pilih apa? Saya waktu cakap lau tu sih, no? Seni tu sih, kan? Di Fizis pada ya guru panel ini, panel ini adalah usaha yang baik dan panel ini adalah guna pelajar muda yang lebih me, eh, tahu lah di di asing lebih dua lagi kah, dah jadi nak terus yang boleh ni hau, terus dua lagi me, dah tapi, terus aku baca jenya alu apa guna, jenya alu, hanya sahaja macam jenya alu nama ya. Eh, hulis sahaja macam ni, sahaja ni sahaja fiber kau dah ada faham macam ni dah kah, tunggu aku beri dia guna, tunggu aku beri. Ini tu yang tema be. Chapter, takkan long, tapi yang nama ni chapter six ni, eleven nama tu, no, belajar. Ah, ini chapter six eleven tu, ni ni ni, nampak revision kala ni jaya, dia ni orang cipu be, balik balik mana, balik luar ni. Jadi, ah, oh, tapi lo, dia ni macam ni lo, presentation lo dia ni jaya, nampak cakap ni, dia ni semua lagi balik mana. Paralel di sana pun semua lagi. Oh, oh bawa bawa ini slide tu, kau kira slide tu ni pengen apa? Ramu ni ni lupa tu sih. Kau beli macam cawan yang lalu di cari sini dah. Anak orang semua ni apa? Anak orang semua ni dah beli awal ni. Hari cawan ni betul beli. Ah, jom ni ada apa sahaja pada kau sini beli mulu. Tak kau ye ada beli tu, sama yang sembilan ni dia boleh ambil ni. Beli yang sembilan. Okay. Ini dia, ini dia bahari jauhnya macam ni. Chapter five ni ada ramai nak leh lu beli ni. Chapter five ni minat dah lama, minat ni mana minat dah leh. Atau yang harga ho apa dia asing, heat and temperature. Heat and temperature kan, nak wang lima ni ni. Temperature scale ni ya umat ini. Hari, tama expansion itu, linear expansion itu, mana area expansion itu, orang ini meja apa yang lain, meja apa sahaja.